hi guys welcome to my youtube channel today's tutorial is all about this gorgeous dress that can be styled in two ways sleeveless or with sleeve which one are you going for so i'll be ungrateful as not to thank you guys we just clocked 500 subscribers and i'm really really grateful thank you to everybody that subscribed and has been supporting by watching my video so we are going to be making this beautiful dress today if you would like to see more um beginners friendly tutorial videos why don't you click the subscribe button below and put on your notification bell so you can be notified be needing this pattern paper a uh, pairs of scissors the paper and the fabric scissors a pattern curve the measuring tape a pencil and eraser bias tape a marker pins office pin and then our fabric this is a crepe fabric but it has pattern on it and to start with our tutorial this um the measurement we are going to be using for today's tutorial is on the screen so you can just check through it as usual the first thing is to get our full length our full length is 37 but our pattern paper is 36 so we'll be adding the um the m allowance when we are cutting on our fabric so now the first thing is our bust line our bust line is nine inches our half length is 17 inches. So we are going to be getting our horizontal measurements first, as usual on every pattern drafting. Nine inches for the bust line, 17 inches for the half length. The next step is to take your pattern curve and your marker to rule that out nine inches and also on the 17 inches which is our half length that is the bust line the top of our paper is the shoulder line and here is um, our half length which is also our waist the next step is from our waist, which is our half length. I'll be measuring down nine inches to locate our hip line. This is to locate the hip line with nine inches. Take your pattern ruler or your pattern curve. Rule that out also. And now indicating our hip line, then our hem line. so now after getting the horizontal measurements the next thing is to um get our shoulder line to get our shoulder we are going to be dividing our shoulder measurements by two inches and mine is giving me seven and a half inches so i'll mark on the shoulder line and also on the bust line also rule that After doing that, on the shoulder line, I'm going to come down by one inch. That is for the shoulder slant. I'll be coming down by one inch. And whatever is remaining, I'm going to divide it by two. We have eight inches divided by two is four inches. You mark that. The first one is um, the bust divided by 4 plus 1 inch. Your bust divided by 4 plus 1 inch sewing allowance. The waist also divided by 4 plus 1 inch. For sewing allowance. And our hip also divided by 4 plus 1 inch.
and on the M line, um, our dress is a little bit penciled. So I'm going to be taking out half inch from whatever is on the hip line. So we are going to be having nine and a half inches. So I take my pattern ruler to um, rule from the hip line. It's a little bit slanted to the M line. Just watch closely what I am doing. It's not really that hard. You also know how we do it. I use my free hand to curl from the bust line to the waist and from the waist to the hip line. This pattern is for both the front and the back of our dress. So now the next thing is to get our shoulder, to get our arm O. Since this dress is both for the back and the front, we are going to be making a combined arm O. First, I mark one inch for the front arm O. Then I mark half inch for the back arm O. On that four inches, we measure the other time. Then I'm going to curve from the one inch slanting all the way to the half inch, then to um, our bust measurement. And also from the um, one inch all the way through to the one inch, then to our bust measurement. Just watch closely what I am doing. This is just to save us our pattern paper. So after doing this, the next thing to do now is to get our neckline. The neckline for the back is um, three and a half by three inches, three inches by um, one and a half inches. Three inches by one and a half inches. That's the measurement for our back neck. So with my free hand, you could use your pattern curve also to um, curve these places but i just like using my free hand then now to get our front neckline i'm going to be using eight inches you can come down lower than this from um, our thumbnail you can see that it started from about the waist um, line so you could do that kind of neckline if that is what you wish to do but i want my own ayah I'm going to be wearing this to the office so I used eight inches three inches by eight that's what I used for my neckline so I don't want my neckline to be a sharp V so I'm just going to curve it a little bit I'm just going to curve it in a little bit So this is the neckline for the front and also the neckline for the back. Now the next thing is to um, slant our shoulder. So now I'm just going to cut this out. The, I'm going to start with the back. I'm going to cut from the back neckline all through to the back arm O. I'm just going to cut this out. We are going to cut out the back first before cutting the front. Watch closely where I'm cutting. Make sure you're cutting on the back neckline and also on the back arm O. So now we are just going to 
um, place this on our mat, um, material, adding half inch on the armhole, half inch on the neckline, half inch at the shoulder. The back is going to have a zipper allowance. We are going to be adding a zipper allowance. So don't forget plus one inch at the hem line. So now after cutting out the half inch for the neckline all over, as you can see our uh, um, um, zipper allowance for the back, um, I also added two inches for the hem line because I don't want it to short. So I divided um, my back into two. So as not to have a bulge at the back, I'm going to go in at the waistline by half an inch. By half an inch at the waistline. Then use my pattern roller to just rule out like this. Just watch what I am doing. So because the um, chalk is not is not showing properly, I'm going to add an indicator just to see how I placed the ruler on the fabric to cut out. So that's the indicator to indicate where I'm cutting out. So after cutting out, don't forget to notch the waistline and the zipper allowance on, and also at the side. Don't forget to notch. And that's all for our back. To cut the front now, I will take, go back to my pattern paper and cut out the um, front neckline and also the front arm O. Now after placing on my um, fabric, the first thing is to mark two inches at the M line. You know, I, I said I marked two inches at the back M line too, because I don't want the dress too short. So I'm marking two inches at the M line. And then to get our um to get the front twist for our dress, I'm going to be extending the neckline out. I'm going to be marking out the neck and um, waistline rather the waistline i'll mark it out I'll, i'm going to extend it extend the waistline and then i'm going to measure from uh, at the side from the bust line to the waist i'll measure what is there Whatever is there from the way and um, bust line. But before that, I need to add my half inch at the um, arm O. Because we are going to be joining that. Um, we'll be adding the measurement at that. And the half inch at that arm O. You'll be adding it to whatever we are going to be measuring at the side of our dress. So as not to make it too tight or draw our arm O down. So now after adding the half inch, I'm going to remeasure what I have at the side from the bust line to the waist. I have nine and a half inches. So now that nine and a half inches, from that half inch that I measured at the arm O, I'm going to place my um, measuring tape outward. Watch closely what I'm doing. I will place it from that half inch outward and measure the same nine and a half inches. nine and a half inches then i'll take my measuring tape from that nine and a half inches i'll measure inward but firstly nine and a half inches outward then i'm going to take my pattern curve and place from that half inch at the arm o all the way to the nine and a half inches that we measured I'm going to rule that out. Don't worry, there's going to be an indicator because the chalk is not showing. So that's the indicator. 
and from the nine and a half inches from our waistline from that line that we extended at our waistline i'm going to measure out seven and a half inches it has to touch that nine and a half inches so that's what we are trying to get here seven and a half inches i'm going to rule that out also going to be slanted from the extension at the waistline to the nine and a half inches so you can see how it is whatever is at your bust line to your waist on the elm um, side has to also be what is going to be slanted we have nine and a half inches there we also have nine and a half inches here that's seven and a half i'm going to mark it on the straight line at the extended part of our waist that extended part at the waist we are not going to mark seven and a half inches on that place and then curve from it into the um, into our dress into the side of our dress so that's what we are going to do into the side of the dress you can see what i'm doing So instead of the slash and, slash and spread method, this is the easiest way to get a front twist dress. Don't forget to add half inch at the um, shoulder and the neckline also. So this is it. This is how your front, how your um, pattern should look like. So now we'll cut this out. So don't forget to also divide your dress, the front of your dress into two. So now this is how the front of our dress is looking. I'm trying to chalk the wrong side. So the next step is now to separate the dress, um, the front dress the left side and also the right side place them on your um, cotton table like this and see how it is looking this is the front part of our dress so the next step to do now after placing like this is to get um, from from that part that is called from that's our waist you are going to like pleat it little by little make sure it is straight you pleat little by little and then you take your office pin to pin that um pleat in place pin the pleat in place you also repeat the same thing for the other part. Make sure the pin um, is holding those plates in place. You do the same thing for the other side of the dress. Make sure it's not too big and it's like not too small. Get your office pin to pin in place. So after doing this, you place your dress right side facing up. Right side facing up. You can see how I'm placing the dress. Now watch closely on how to get the front twist. You take from your first you place it on the other one then that one is like you are returning it back to its rightful owner i'm going to show us how to do this again i'll show us how to do this
place it accurately like this on the table right size facing up you take your left place it on the right bring your right out then take your right take your right and place it take it back to its rightful owner so you can see how it is then now you take um the waist parts and you join them together so you can see that the slash part at the waist i'm going to join it together and then pin we're going to sew this down by um pinning it down with um quarter 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 inch quarter inch that's what we are going to use to pin this down take it to my sewing machine and sew this down it's quarter inch make sure it is very very close to the um pleat that was made the other time very very close to it the other side too Pin that with quarter of an inch and make sure it is close to the pleat. After sewing down, this is how your dress should look like. Now we are going to sew the middle part, the slashed part, the middle part of our dress with quarter of an inch too. Make sure this is also very, very close to the pleat, to the pleat that was made at the waistline. Make sure it is very close. Also, the neck part, the slashed part at the neck part, too. I'm going to use the office pin to secure in place. Also, sew down with quarter of an inch. Quarter. So, after sewing it down, you can see the front twist. At the front of our dress you can see after pinning down you can see how it is looking you can see so now the next step is to bring the um, back um pattern place it on the front take your back pattern and place it on the front right sides facing each other Now the notches that we made at the right at uh, the um, waistline for the back is going to come in play. But first, we are going to join our shoulder. Take your office pin to secure your shoulder. We're using half inches to join the shoulders together. Half inches to join the shoulders together. Now coming to the waist of the dress. The notches that was made at the waistline at the back. I'm going to place it at that joining at the front. That's our waistline for the front. The um the um joining at the front is our waistline. So you're going to take that notches that you made at the back um pattern, place it on the front, and then use your office pin to secure it in place. Secure your the side of the dress. You remember we added one inches, so we are going to be using one inches to join the side of the dress. So after joining the dress and also after joining the um, side of the dress and also the shoulder of our dress. This is how it is looking. I used half inch to join the shoulder of the dress and also used one inch allowance to join the side of the dress. So you can see our dress is coming in place. Yes. And see how it is looking. So beautiful. Just looking like a wow. <laughs> So now we are going to um, to the center back. The um, notches that we made at the waistline, you bring it together. Use your pin to secure that in place. Now I showed our zipper 
um, the length for our zipper is 20 inches. I'm going to be measuring 19 inches here instead of 20 inches. The length of the zipper is 20 inches. I'll measure 19 inches. So I'll use my office pin to secure that in place. That's our zipper opening. Then the next thing is to get the um, our slit opening. I want the length for my slit opening to be 9 inches. You can do this according to your preference. Mine, I want it to be 9 inches. To be 10 inches rather. So I'm going to measure 10 inches from the M line. It's supposed to be 9 inches, but remember um, our M line is 1 inches. So I use 10 inches. So I'm going to measure 10 inches. Use my office pin to indicate that. That's for our slit opening. And 19 inches for the zipper opening. So the space in between the um, slit opening and the zipper opening, I'm going to sew that down with one inches. One inches. Because that's the allowance for our zipper. So I'm just going to sew that with one inches. So after sewing down the one inches, this is how it is. I'm gonna have to um, sew down the slit opening too. So these are our dresses looking so far after joining the back. So you can see our front waist sitting pretty. So the next step now, before I um, add my zipper to the dress, I'm going to um, use my um, bias. That's the function of our bias in this tutorial to turn the neckline of the dress. I'm going to use this bias tape to turn the neckline of the dress inward. And also go ahead to add my zipper. I'm going to go ahead to add my zipper after um, adding the bias tape to the neckline. So now I've gone ahead to do that. I've added the bias tape to the neckline and also the zipper. You can see the dress is coming into place. So this is how our dress is looking so far. The next step is to fold the armhole of my dress this dress doesn't have a lining so we don't have a lining to turn the armhole so i'm just going to fold it with half inches so i've gone ahead to fold it and now also the m line so i've um, folded the armhole of the dress and also the m line with one inches you can see how the armhole is looking and also the hemline. So now to get the removable sleeve, I'm going to be measuring a ham o, the armhole of the dress. So what we have here is nine and a half inches. We have nine and a half inches at the armhole. So I'm just going to fold this piece of material into four because I'm going to cut the two sleeves together. Then I'll measure 12 inches. Measure 12 inches. That's going to be the um, runched part at the, the puffy part of the um, sleeve. 12 inches, which in total is 24 inches. Remember the material is folded. Then the length of our sleeve is going to be 19 inches. This is to your preference. Mine is 19 inches. So 19 inches for the um, sleeve length. Then now, from that 19 inches at the top of our sleeve, 
I'm going to measure um, the uh, firstly I'm going to measure one inch that's where we are going to be placing the strap of our sleeve one inch so after measuring one inch from that one inch now I'm going to measure the nine and a half inches that is at our arm o. you remember our arm o is nine and a half inches so I'm going to just slant that down nine and a half inches This is going to be the cutout at the sleeve part. So from the one inch, I'm going to chalk down to the nine and a half inches. From that one inch at the 19 inches, chalk down to the nine and a half inches. This is this opening at our, um, on our sleeve. That's the opening on the sleeve. So from the nine and a half inches, I will chalk straight down to the um, M line. To the 12 inches at the m line from the nine and a half inches the chalk is not showing so i'm just going to add an indicator again so you can see what exactly i am chalking on the fabric so you can see now you cut that out so after cutting out don't forget to notch the nine and a half inches very important so the next thing to do the next step on the sleeve now is to get our elastic casing yeah i'm trying to notch the wrong side of the sleeve so to get our elastic casing i'm going to be adding an half inch elastic for the puffy part of the sleeve So, elastic casing. I've gone ahead to make the elastic casing and also to add an elastic to the sleeve. I made it not too tight and not too free. So, after adding that, the next thing is to fold the sleeve like this. So, I'm going to sew from the end part of the sleeve all the way through to the notch that was made you remember that notch we made at the nine and a half inches so we are going to sew from that nine and a half inches all the way through to the elastic m and also go ahead to um turn the um arm o part of the sleeve we are going to turn that part with half inch do the same thing for the other sleeve also so this is how our sleeve is looking after joining the side and also turning the ammo part of the sleeve you can see how the sleeve is looking you can see the cut out so after joining the sleeve true to the um, notch that was made at the nine and the half inches i found out that the ammo is too big so i sewed up with one and a half inches again just to make the arm all a little bit smaller and not too big so i did the same thing for the other sleeve too so now this is our strap i went ahead to cut 30 by 5 length 30 with um the width 5 inches so i'm just going to sew along where i am indicating with my finger so after sewing and pressing it down the opening at the um, end of the strap i'm going to fold it in and top stitch on it fold it in and stop stitch then i'm going to indicate the uh, midpoint of the strap place it at the midpoint of the sleeve that one inch that was measured the other time I'm going to place it in between and sew half inch down. So I've gone ahead to do this for the two sleeve. You can see the half inch. This is how our sleeve is looking. 
so now this is our ready-made dress when we're making it we closed up the um shoulder now i'm uh, measuring our shoulder our shoulder is um four inches but we need um a we need a, an opening of two inches so i'm going to measure one inch one inch at the side of the dress on the arm o to create a two inch opening i'm going to create a two inches opening at the middle of the shoulder so that's what i'm trying to do to create a two inch opening remember our strap is um five inches so we sewed in half inch which is one inches and now we are left with two inches strap so now i've i've loosed losing out the um shoulder and created an opening so that's the opening at the shoulder you can see the opening at the shoulder so i'm just going to pass my um pass the strap in you can see that's our removable um that's the removable sleeve so you can remove this you can add it back if you wish so this is the complete tutorial of our dress i hope you're able to understand and i and this is the dress without the sleeve thank you guys for joining today's tutorial i love you all god bless you see you in the next tutorial